Good morning, students. I welcome you all for a very important topic for eighth class science. What is electricity? First of all, the topic which has been given in the eighth class book, students. Let me see. I introduce myself as Sunil Sigri and have been teaching science and many other subjects for past many years. I will be your teacher for physics. First introduction, students. What is electricity? You are all aware, student, that in your homes you are using large number of electrical appliances. And electricity is a powerful form of energy. Whatever electrical appliances you are using at home, you know about the electric bulb, you are aware of the electric tubes which you are using, the heaters, the refrigerators, the iron, cloths, fans, ovens, your machines, all the machines which you are running in your homes are being run by electricity. So we also know students, we can lie to your homes, offices, roads, market, factories by using suitable devices. Electricity is transformed into different forms of energy. It's very important that electricity is being produced at a very, very far away distance from you, but it is reaching your homes and the most important part is that this electricity can be transformed into various forms of energies. You are aware that we are converting electrical energy into light energy. You have seen electric bulbs at your home, fluorescent tubes, CFL bulbs. What happens when electricity passes through it, you will see that they emit light. How they do it, we will explain you all in these chapters. Sound energy. You see, you switch on your TV and you are listening to me also right now where I am uh, uh, connected with you uh, by the video you are seeing. So what my sound is reaching you. Electrical energy is being converted into sound energy in TV, radio, transistors, loudspeakers, tape recorders. Then you have seen a lot of uh, me uh, mechanical energy is also being produced by using electrical energy, your mixers, grinder, electric motors. They are all examples of these students. So what is important, student? I told you that electricity is very important and powerful form of energy. And it can be converted into light energy. It can be converted into sound energy. It can be converted into mechanical energy. The uses of this already known to you. Mixer, grinder, electric motor, electric lifts. Then magnetic energy is being, uh, con electrical energy is converted into magnetic energy in transformers, electric bulbs. Electric bells, you are having electric bells at your homes. Heat energy, very important. You are having cooking ovens, toasters, students, what they do, you switch on your electrical power and you get the heating effect in this. And you also have uh, the heating in the heater iron during the winter. You are using cooling. Your ACs are working at home, refrigerators. All these are the effects. Uh, all these are nothing but different forms of energies which we are getting students from the various forms from the electricity. Now, what are the sources of electric current? Students, what are the sources of electric current? Some common sources of electric cell. Student, you are aware there is an electric cell. And we represent it in chemistry or in science, student, in physics like this. There is a positive terminal. There is a negative terminal. We will explain to this. You are aware of the battery, student. You are using you in your torches. In uh, You are using small batteries. And in different electrical appliances also, you are using batteries which you are buying from the market. So uh, electric current itself is flowing in your homes. So due to electric uh, uh, reaction in these sources, electric current is produced. Now, students, you are aware there are two types of materials. Conductors. Conductors are materials which allow the flow of electric current through them. Insulators are materials which do not allow electric current to flow through them. Very important to note that materials which allow the electric current to flow through them are called conductors. And materials which do not allow the electric current are called insulators. Good conductors, you already know all the metals. Whatever wires you have in your homes for the electrical, they are made up of coppers. Copper, silver, gold, platinum, these are metal students. They are very good conductors of electricity. Current can flow through them. When current can flow through any material, that is called conductor. And 
we have given here examples of the good conductors as you can see metals metals such as copper aluminium there are so many other metals which i will say that gold is a very good conductor silver but these are very costly metals and in our homes most of the times we, you are having copper wires copper wires are being used students for flow of current in your homes poor conductors or insulators materials which do not allow electric current to pass through them are are called insulators you have seen students when electrician comes to your home he wears a rubber rubber gloves why do he wear rubber gloves because rubber plastic and wood students they are poor conductors they do not allow the electricity to pass through them now student it must be wondering in your mind that water which you are drinking water which you are available at home is water a conductor or a insulator is water a conductor or a insulator the important point to note is student you have seen whenever there is a fire and if you have uh, seen uh, the electric the fire extinguishers which they come the first thing they do is they switch off the electricity because in if the water has got certain ions students water has got certain impurities and because of those impurities water can conduct so what we are saying the water we get from sources such as taps hand pumps well ponds is not pure is not pure this water is not pure student so there are small number of mineral salts are naturally present in it this water is thus a conductor of electricity now the point is very important the water in the tap the water in the well the water from the sea student it has salts mineral salts it has impurities it has ions and therefore it it can conduct electricity electricity can pass through it that is the reason students if you have wet hands wet hands if you touch an electrical circuit you can get electric shock because electricity can flow through the ordinary water which you are having because there are ions which are present in the water there are impurities which are present in this water however distilled water now students distilled water what is a distilled water distilled water is a pure water which does not have any impurities this you can prepare in your science labs and get very extra pure water which has no mineral salt no impurities now in this case you will see that there will be no passage of electricity because there are no impurities there are no ions there are no particles which can conduct electricity therefore distilled water is an insulator important point to note student such a question has been asked in exam medicine your tap water or the water you are getting from different sources is a conductor conducts electricity but students here you have seen distilled water it is very important that distilled water is insulator insulator it does not conduct electricity students now interesting thing is due to the heating effect of current filament of the bulb tester gets heated you see that there is a bulb tester how will you test the current will show that at to a high temperature it glows there are light emitting led light emitting diodes led is a light emitting diodes which glow even when weak current flows how will you detect current is flowing student have you seen if some current is flowing in a circuit or not how will you know you have seen sometimes electricians have got a what we call as a light emitting diode or they have a tester they put a tester in the switch where the, there is a current and it lights up it lights up so we will study all about this also in this chapter students uh, further students what we are mainly interested in eighth class science eighth class science physics book as it is given in the course chemical effects of the electric current we have already told you electric current is the flow of charge students and you know that when electrons start flowing electrons are charged particles and what will happen this will create a current the passage of electric current through a conducting solution causes chemical reactions the resulting effects are called chemical effects of current our main topic is chemical effects of current 
whether do the solutions conduct electricity or not you have just seen pure water will not conduct electricity but if i add certain ions if i add some salts in the water or if i add some acid in the water if i add some base in the water then water starts conducting electricity so wherever there will be charged particles the conduction will take place there are chemical effects of the current when electric current will flow through a solution there are certain chemical effects let us see students further here i have a picture of electric circuit how do we know current is flowing how will we find current is flowing you see in you will also study students electricity flow through a positive terminal to a negative terminal through a path here i have made a small electric circuit you can do this experiment at your home students you can see that here i have a battery and battery has two terminals one is positive terminal other is this is my battery student you are aware of the battery already student you can buy it from the market small cells you have seen small now here are the connections these are this is called this may be a copper wire here which is connecting this is your bulb student you know what is inside the bulb this bulb has a filament student filament as you can see this is a filament of the bulb when current will flow through the bulb what will happen student the current will flow in this filament it will get heated the bulb filament gets heated as it becomes hot hot it becomes red hot then after becoming red hot it emits light as you can see the light is emitted by the bulb the bulb emits light student if the connection is complete this is a switch student the switch purpose of the switch is to close the circuit if you have a switch you can close it you can open it when the switch is closed battery is attached student what will happen a current will flow current will flow through positive terminal to the negative terminal so this is my positive terminal this is my negative terminal the current will flow students through this conducting wire this wire which i have is made up of this is my copper wire copper is a good conductor students it is a good conductor so what will happen the electricity will flow from at the direction which i have indicated when the switch is closed switch is closed switch is closed that means the circuit becomes complete student the circuit is complete and then electricity will flow through this circuit and as the electricity will go the bulb will light up so we know now the current is flowing in the circuit if current is not flowing in the circuit if this uh, switch is off or circuit is broken then there will be no light in the bulb so when we want to test if we want to test student if we want to test uh, if you want to test if you want to test uh, students in, in if we want to test uh, Uh, then what we do uh, what will we do students that if we test it in our daily life what we use we use testers we use testers in science tester is an instrument which is used to check the flow of electric current it is attached to the terminal of electric circuit if the bulb attached to tester glows it confirms the passage of the current here is a picture student which i have shown here i have shown a, a, a diagram here i have shown a diagram student of the tester you can see this is your electric switch and i am putting the tester in the electric switch it glows it glows as you can see this yellow color here here is another example of the tester student this is my battery this is my battery and this is the electric bulb i am attaching it to the tester and you will see the bulb lights up bulb lights up so we can test whether a current is flowing through it by tester now students you have seen uh, another form of electricity which i am saying static electricity what is static electricity static electricity is a familiar electrical phenomena in which charged particles are transformed from one body to another students you have seen if you rub one object over the other then what will happen these are insulators they do not conduct electricity but when we rub certain objects we find they become charged uh, 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 even objects are insulator and surrounding air is dry they become charged students you are already seen some of this 
इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेज आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज पॉजिटिव एंड अदर इज नेगेटिवली कॉमनली कैरियड बाई चार्ज कैरियर्स आर प्रोटोन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ चार्जेज ऑफ साबोटामिक पार्टिकल्स और दार्टिकल्स ऑफ मैटर प्रोटोन्स आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर नेगेटिवली चार्ज वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से टू यू द बॉडीज विच ऑन रबिंग एक्वायर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अट्रैक्टिंग लाइट बॉडीज सच एट पेपर पीसीज आर सेट टू इलेक्ट्रीफाइड और चार्ज स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव सीन दैट यू कैन टेक ए रॉड विच आई विल शो यू जस्ट नाउ एब नाइट रॉड रब इट विद सिल्क वट विल हैपन द रॉड बिकम्स चार्ज एंड इट कैन अट्रैक्ट स्मॉल पीसीज एन अदर थिंग यू मे हैव एक्सपीरियंस यू टेक ए कॉम यू रब द कॉम ऑन यूर हेयर as you rub the comb on your hair students the comb becomes charged this is my comb student you, this is the comb comb rub on your hair it acquires charge it acquires charge students and if you have small pieces of papers small pieces of paper it can attract this comb will attract the small pieces of paper now why it has done it because it has acquired some charge student by rubbing it the hairs lose some negative charge which it gets acquired and then it will attract the pieces of paper so this is example of a what we are saying about the static uh, static electricity student where the uh, these are examples of static electricity the objects the, the comb itself was an insulator Air was an insulator, but it became charged when we rub this. So, if the required charge is not allowed to flow, it is tested to be a static electricity. These are examples of the static electricity. You may be wondering, student, where the charge is coming from? Here, I have shown a structure of an atom, student. I have taken a carbon atom. The carbon atom has a nucleus. This is my nucleus, student. It has positive and negative protons and neutrons. And outside the nucleus, we can see that there are electrons which are orbiting around this nucleus. These electrons are negatively charge particles they are negatively charged particles students and they are lost they can be easily lost they are loose and they are loose and can be lost and this inside the nucleus these protons are positively charged protons are positively charged particle students so you have charges inside the atom both positive and negative negative charges are electrons they are lost and then the charge is acquired and then you will experience the static electricity here i have shown you uh, some of the examples that positive charge if i have a glass rod if i rub the glass rod with a silk cloth this is my glass rod student you rub this with silk cloth you will rub this with silk cloth student silk cloth silk cloth what is the result of this the glass rod acquires a positive charge and silk rod acquires a negative charge that means electrons have been lost by the glass rod and it has been acquired by the silk cloth so uh, um, this is the charge separation which takes place and different type of charges can be there wooden cloth can get positive charge plastic sheet sheet can get negative charge carpets you can get a uh, positive charge your comb can get a negative charge if the comb you are rubbing on your hair gets a negative charge it attracts small pieces of paper just like we told you so what we are trying to say the free electrons loosely bound in the glass rod on rubbing loses electrons and become positive charge silk acquires electrons and becomes negative charge so this is what i talked about the static electricity students and in uh, uh, in the next lecture student i will explain to you Uh, what is it, are the chemical effects of the uh, electric current and how which liquids uh, can conduct electricity and which cannot and what will happen if i will uh, pass stu students electricity through the liquid solutions and chemical reactions will take place and we will explain we will also explain to you how a tester can be used to check if a liquid is conducting or non conducting so uh, we can also uh, we will also show to you testing uh, conduction of electricity in lemon juice and vinegar these are some of the tactics activities which are very important and we will demonstrate all this in our next class students i hope you understood the basic introduction of what electricity is all about and in this chapter of earth science we will be studying the chemical effects of electric current whether 
the solutions can conduct electricity or not how will we test the electricity of the solutions whether lemon juice can conduct electricity or pure water can conduct electricity or the impure water and when we add acids acids in uh, water or bases in water or salts in water it becomes conducting and we will also explain to you what will happen if we pass electric current through water we will also explain to you what is electroplating you have seen student the in the jewelry a lot of gold plating is being done uh, on certain metals so they look very good ornaments and and your homes also you have large number of appliances which are electroplated electroplated so that they have a very good look so the all these th things we will learn about electroplating and we will also see that when chemical reactions take place uh, by passing electric current there can be some color changes also all these effects we are going to study in our next class which i say chemical effects of electric current so i hope my uh, this first presentation is over and i will meet you student in my next class for to explain to you the chemical effects of electric current and the same time i will be solving large number of questions for the 8th standard science book and you will be participating with me okay bye bye then i'll meet you in my next class